about um, military history that, that, that you like? Uh, I think it's like the benchmark of civilization because, you know, like we were saying, the cutting edge of technology is always devoted to the military and the way everything is now is from military conflict, basically the way countries are drawn up and, you know, where people are at now and things like that. So it really kind of tells the story of, like, thousands of people. Uh, I got into it because uh, the only person that served in my family was my grandfather and he was in World War II and that kind of got me interested in it and started reading about it and then I got into other genres and eras after that, but that was what really kind of hooked me on military history. Did he did he have stories or things that... Yeah, he had a few, like I was younger when he passed away, but uh, I still have his jacket and I got all of the rest of his stuff from when he served, so it was like, for me, it was really interesting to kind of keep it alive and appreciate it and, you know, keep it for everybody else in the family to enjoy and stuff. Do you have any particularly cool things in the shop that, that you have a good story behind how you got them? Um... You guys had noticed my heads, the heads were, uh, we had got a hold of the lady that her beauty salon went out of business and uh, the heads are expensive to display the helmets on so we took all of her female mannequin heads and then had to draw beards and mustaches on them to make them a little more uh, tough with the helmets. Um, that's kind of a funny piece. I, at my house I have a World War One trench knife, it's an American trench knife with the knuckle dusters. I have that in a shadow box and then I have a uh, Russian, right after the Civil War they came out with a poster and I've got that framed up in the house. So. What do you what do you like about it? Uh, the poster it's kind of it mimics Saint George and the Dragon, and that was my favorite painting of all time. And the knuckle duster knife, I had wanted one of those since I was a little kid, so I made it. I traded four swords for those about eight years ago, and that was uh, the one piece I've kept for myself. So there's a lot of different levels of collectors because there's a lot of different price points for collectibles. It just um, if you can get into patches or like some of the newer helmets, things like that. That's a little more lower end, and then when you get to some of the harder to find, very rare stuff, that can get up. You know, hundreds of thousands of dollars so we try to be where we have something for everybody and all levels of collectors they have a little more character i think and it's it comes back to like we were saying just being able to identify with it if you have a helmet and you put it on a head you can kind of see like that person what they wore or if it's like has their name in it it's a little more personalized i think than some of the paperwork or things like that the majority of the stuff in this country was brought back by veterans coming home either from the pacific or european theaters like for world war ii for example so it would be people that have had it Either we get it from the veterans themselves, or like when they pass away, their estate, you know, whoever's managing their estate will bring it in, look into to sell it. Um, there are collectors that have served from that time and then collected forward from, you know, the 50s and 60s that have these huge collections, and now they're getting in their 70s and 80s, so they're looking to downsize. So it's, it's just a number of different ways. There's still uh, people I deal with in other countries that have access to this stuff and we buy and trade amongst ourselves So that's another way to bring it in but the majority of it is like that bring back so like if if more people were to collect Do you think that would be beneficial? I do just because you know like we were talking about just with Afghanistan I mean so many things repeat themselves and you know We never seem to learn from our mistakes or we just keep making the same mistakes and it would be maybe good if people figured out what not to do <laughs> might help us in the future. I don't know. We were talking about making the same mistakes. I don't think we've learned anything. Like the way we still treat veterans with like mental health and benefits and things like that. It's very difficult because you go from being active, active duty to like a week later after you process out, you're back home and just you know expect to like pick up a normal life and things like that. So it's we don't really have that transition for for them. So it's difficult for some people to kind of reassimilate. Would you encourage? troops coming home to keep their uniforms and medals? Uh, personally, I would say yeah, because you know you may not think about it now or may not want it now, but 10 years from now or when you have kids, you're going to want to show them kind of what you did and you know um, pictures of when you served or who you served with, if you stay in touch with your friends and stuff like that. Like the guys I served with, it's always fun when we look at our old pictures and stuff like that, you know. And, it's, it's just fun. For me personally, I mean, we did some stuff that was miserable, but now I look back on it, it's like I could never do that again because I'm not in that kind of shape now and, you know, things like that. I'm not 20 years old anymore, so it's, uh, it's, it's, um, it helps you in the rest of your life too, I think, just because once you feel like you can do anything, then, you know, the sky's the limit, so. Hey everybody, and thanks for joining us for our latest video where we bring you the best of the old, the new, the odd, and the wonderful. So if you're interested in this video or our channel, go ahead and subscribe below. Also, if you need an appraisal done or if you have items that you need restored, you can go to our website because we also offer service and that is at kirstensantiques.com. That's K-A-Antiques.com. 
You can also follow us on all of our social media platforms for the newest and the latest and the greatest on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. We also do contests where you can win really cool stuff. Like this. <laughs> Sign balls, <laughs> shot glasses, or even a t-shirt. So go ahead, follow us today, get with it, and we're gonna be bringing you new content every day. Thanks.